Hello everyone. What I'm doing is trying to remove a bottom bracket using a bearing puller tool, which looks like this. There's a bottom bracket that needs replacing. Um, I've just fitted the tool. It basically has an end like this. Uh, now, as you screw it, the end actually widens up um, and that then catches the inside of the bearing. This weight on the slide, it's very heavy. You just pull that back and it should pull out the bearing. So I'm gonna have a go with this. Wish me luck. So there is the bearing that I've just pulled out of the frame. Now I just gotta take the, uh, the inside cups out. Well, as you can see, I've now removed the whole of the bottom bracket uh, using the bearing puller. It's all out, look. So the actual insert bearing and the race. This is actually a race face uh, standard press fit there. So what you have here is the race face outer cup. Um, uh, that's the dust cap there. And then you've got the actual bearing itself. Uh, all extracted using the um, the bearing extractor tool. So I've got the part here. It's the SRAM uh, GXP mountain bike BB92. Um, I've installed the drive side um, using a, just a basic tool for pressing home uh, press fit bearings. So just a closer look at the tool that I'm using uh, for uh, press fit bottom brackets. Here it is, just a joist plate from a builder's merchant or whatever, but it, it does do the job. There's the nut and brings the bearing flush with the, uh, the frame. Combined with a basically a bolt and a nut, um, which fits through the, um, the bottom bracket of the frame. And you just tighten it and it, it draws in the um, the actual press fit bearings. I'm going to do the uh, non-drive side side now. It comes with a wavy washer. This wavy washer fits um, next to the chain ring um, uh, through the axle there. So now we're just going to put in the non-drive side bearing into the frame. So I've taken the sort of cover, the dust cover off. Um, as you can see, the pattern of it actually fits with the pattern on the on the axle of the GX Eagle chain ring. Uh, I've taken it off, so I'm gonna press fit this cup home into the frame. So as you can see, I've fitted the um, device there. Um, this is now just gonna tighten up and it'll just basically push. And I'll uh, show you when, once it's pushed in. I'm just tightening it home now. So I'm just putting the crank now through on the drive side. Got the wavy washer on there. Just bring my chain up and over the chain ring. Right, so we've just got the other side of the uh, axle coming through on the non-drive side. And we'll just fit the uh, dust cover over like that. And that's now ready for our non-drive side crank arm. So just fitting on the crank arm. Tighten up the, um, the center bolt, which actually screws into the axle itself. 